Hi folks and welcome back. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome back to Rookie Reacts to Ru to Ruby. I was going to say to Rooster Teeth, uh, which is true. I mean, she does react to Rooster Teeth only. Um, but uh, we're up to Ruby, Volume 7, Chapter 4, Pomp and Circumstance. Michelle. I dyed my hair. You dyed your hair, yes, you do that regularly. Um, last episode, we had the big battle. Everybody got their new outfits, the new weapons, and apparently Ruby did get a change to her weapon that we didn't notice, which is that the she can make the scythe spin around and point a different direction. I don't think that's really there's a big deal. There's new Ruby cosplay. There's new Ruby cosplay. Yes, they have a scythe for cosplay available in the store. And a brooch. Okay, anyway. Uh, so they had the big battle. Um, they talked a little bit about why they're be being like Ozpin and hiding the, the truth from Ironwood. Uh, which I found refreshing. Um, they left Oscar behind with mm -hmm. the uh, with a relic. Um, so what do you think? Ice cream truck. Um, we have I... an ice cream truck driving by. <laughs> I can't Penny. wait for Blake. Did you you enjoyed the Blake scenes? Um, Blake and Yang. Uh, I, I Yang, can't. Yang made Blake's cheek blush. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And Blake's got that repaired sword with the yellow on it, which everybody's like, oh my God, it's a bumblebee thing, which it might be. I don't know, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. Uh, do you think anything like that will happen in this series? Do you think we'll find out anything like conclusively bumblebee? Oh, hell yeah. They're I mean, people who, are, people who have been longtime bumblebee fans are already like, it's conclusive. What are you talking about? I mean, like kissing, words, something, sleeping in the same bed, something, ew. something conclusive for them. Not you. Um, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, this episode, you hope for Penny, of course. I'm, oh, I'm going to oh, guess yeah. you Penny want Penny. Blake. You want people to die. And Blake. You got somebody to die last time. You got Forrest to die. You always oh, okay. predict somebody's going to die. And Forrest died last time. Somebody's going to die this time. Somebody's going to die this time. Uh, pomp and circumstance. I'm thinking that that has to do with... Um, yes. I, think, yes. no, I think it has to do with Weiss and her family, right? Because her family's all prim and proper and they're like upper class. So no, that's it's, proper, not pomp. I know, but pomp and circumstance is... Never mind. I think it's going to have to do with Weiss's family. I hope we meet her mother. You hope we meet her mother? Watching these back so double chin. <laughs> do you hope we meet Weiss's mother? Yes. Okay. We don't know if that's a prediction, but here we go. Okay. I'm not supposed to dance. You I'm not dancing. I'm just bouncing. It's embarrassing. No, that's dancing. It's not dancing. I know. That's why I said I'm not dancing. Blake! Yes. He also had to wait a day for this again. So. Yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs> I was so tempted to say, screw it, I'm just going to watch it last night because you, you canceled on me. You canceled on me, and I was going to say, I was just said to myself, oh, I should probably just watch it and then let it be like the old days where she reacts, and I've already seen it. But I didn't do it. Yeah, I'll just. I probably got too tired and fell asleep, but yeah, oh, either way. I'm old. You know. Penny! We haven't met her yet. The uh, the new the female That's rebel true. leader, Robin Hill, or whatever her name is. Robin Hood. We haven't met her yet. So maybe this time? Hotter Pop's going to be in this episode? I, I, I would hope not. They've been in all three of the episodes so far, and. If they are in this one, then I'm, I really have to question if this is still called Ruby or not, or something, because they're very, they're not being as focused on as they should be. Okay, this is way out of town. Is it the mines? Oh, this is the mines, right, where they fought, right? They're bringing trucks in to get the, and they're bringing Amity Coliseum, that's what that shadow is, right? Yep. Cool. With these people... These look like the trucks that uh, the doctor brought in in Genlock when he, he brought his stuff to the, to the also base. Looks like the <laughs> not, not anything at all like the new vessel. Yep, this was the mine, okay. Comes the Otter Pops, what I tell you. And the Otter Pops are in it again. <laughs> well, of course you. they are, because we're finishing up the mission. <gasps> what the hell? You guys were incredible. Oh my god. Oh, the way you took down that geist without needing to plan your tactics out, you just knew, knew exactly what to do. Well, Asa he sounds like a very excited John now, but at least he sounds like John again. So we can focus on our assets and leave our liability. You did ask. Yeah. Look, no. Yeah. Hi. 
Do you need a new best friend? Our pair name can be. Oh, nice. She brought something in from Chibi. Or they brought something in from Chibi. Yeah. Thunder. But I mean, when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? Confuse the two. Hmm. Sightseeing. Oh, what should we do? He's trying to make sure that they're still friendly. How about our buds? Oh, come on, guys. This is a great time to go exploring. Floored a whole continent on foot before flying to this one. Well, True. yeah, but. It was only the boring parts. And Clover, don't take Marrow. <laughs> Just a little too eager. Those who speak out against Atlas, specifically people who speak. They recognize him. It didn't look like a pat. <clears throat> Sir. Uh. No, no, you're right. Let him land. I'll deal with him myself. Uh oh, oh. More Weiss's father, Jacques. It's gonna be Jacques. No. Yep. That's the same kind of ship that uh, Winter came in, remember? In Volume 3? Yep, she does company. So let me get this straight, Jane. If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me, I know exactly the kind of man you are. How dare you speak to me that way? I have half a mind to. Half a mind to what, Jacques? Your mother was devastated when you left. You never got to see your mother when she's upset. Let him get to you, wise. We do I need to see one her mother. Day you would overextend your reach for personally handing me the noose to hang you. Aww. Not friends. Family. Ruby's like, wait a minute. <laughs> a dick. Oh, we've known that. It's nothing new. And they all finally get to see how, how he is, because they've never met him before. You just missed father. I wouldn't say I missed him. Yes! yes! Congratulations. Uh, did we not start yet? <sighs> Apparently, we haven't. <laughs> start what? Value. Oh, it goes without saying that this arena holds... Did they graduate them? Is he graduating them? When the world needs to be brought is he gonna, I, more than is he gonna graduate them? From our first meeting and give them their You fought for your okay, school and yeah. Is he gonna make them real hunters? You fought for the world the hunters is in this case. Haven Academy. You faced down like terrorist it. people can't it's the behavior yep. of hunts he is. and huntresses. Figured this might happen. Penny. <laughs> I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule. Especially for Ruby, Wait, she's only she gets through. He's only like 17. Oh, she didn't get one. A little more Did she? Ceremonious. Yeah, she no, she didn't. She not. She's oh. On there. oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's like two years younger than the rest of us. And face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. And they're keeping everything from him. Just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back pomp. to running this yes. operation. Enjoy the cake. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah, he's not much for social stuff, Your as we saw from that. Are improving, sir. <laughs> <laughs> as we saw in the dinner party that he was at. When Beacon fell, I didn't think he's this been wearing a jacket. Possible. It the bomber jacket. Yeah. Trivial now. Been wearing that jacket. Because I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says okay. I can't? Who says it? Huh? Ooh. Your girl. Right. Oh, Ruby's sitting all over by herself. Oh, she still has the knives, the swords. I didn't think she did. Big day for you. I got already. Kiddo. All of the above. What happened? Do we not lie, Ruby? All of the above. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Her dad is. Her huh. last mission. Was that oh. another Oz secret? We're gonna get some of the missions. There were a lot of those back in our day. I still don't think she's dead. In the dark is myself and your father. You? Still. I, I, I don't think she's dead. Who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. But hey, I like brats. <laughs> he likes brats. Hey, Ruby. Come check this out. Do I get to go? Undercover. <laughs> hey, you guys smell that? Neither do I. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Let me get this straight. That attracts Grim. Perfect. Thanks. 
Juan, Juan, Jim. All right, so we get Jacques. Are we gonna get his wife? Wife's his mother. Father, you. Oh, um, just shitly. Have a visitor. You, I didn't want to be disturbed. Oh, so it's Why did you let them in? I didn't. Oh. He... Probably so, I might add. I think they know each other. He's definitely inherited your Arthur. Yep. Whitley, leave us. They're gonna conspire to I take said, down shut our the door. Lord. Is that it's gonna end? Oh, it just doesn't seem like there's much in these episodes anymore. They go by so fast. I'm not saying there isn't much. I'm just saying they go by so fast. What do you think? What's your favorite part of this? Blake and Penny. Blake and Penny. And then they got their licenses. <clears throat> they got their licenses was cool. Um, Doc, even though I hate him, the fact that Weiss's family's been reintroduced to the storyline is pretty cool. Um, we knew they had to at some point, like right? Like one day. Yeah, the family. Ruby's initial reaction, as you said. Oh shit! <laughs> when she was like, "Wait, wait, we're not, we're not friends." Find it. Where, uh, yeah, he comes down here and he's screaming at her. Down here. Why oh, I'm being really quiet? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's after this, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. These are your little friends. You threw everything away for her. Not friends. And like, huh? The other two are like, hmm. Blake and Yang are like, I'm going to kick your ass. But Blake is holding hands. Yeah, but Blake is supporting Weiss because remember, they have a big history too. Remember Volume 1? The end of Volume 1? Where Weiss was just still a stuck-up brat who hated Faunus because of everything they did to her family. She didn't hate them because of who they were. She hated them because she believed that they were responsible for all the grief that her family suffered through. Remember, she talked about people suffering in her family and stuff. And then, of course, Blake admitted she was White Fang. And remember the whole thing where she ran off and they had to search for her, and that's where they met Penny at, at the battle at the end and all that stuff. So they have a history. And they're, they're bonding because Weiss is growing, and so is Blake, right? Not, not hating everybody who wasn't... Well, she never hated anybody who wasn't fondest, but you know what I mean. She, she, she is becoming more warm to people who, who, uh, who were former enemies, that sort of thing. And she's, uh, Weiss is definitely growing and realizing that fondest are people too. Same thing. They have a, a history. That's why the, Blake is supporting her here. Unless you want to say, oh my god, checkmate, it's a ship, it's a real thing, it's confirmed. <laughs> no, they're just holding hands for show support, or she's, Blake's holding her hand to show support. But it's cool. Um, and Winter, like, I didn't miss it. <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> she intentionally missed her father. She waited till he left to, to drive in. And then this congratulations, I thought it was just a cute anime thing, but maybe it's something Penny can actually project. Above her. Salutation. And then they will get. I, I kind of thought, I didn't say anything, but I kind of thought this might happen. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Because um, the kids went into the academy, the older ones were 17 when they went in. It's supposed to be, I mean, I'm presuming maybe a four year deal, you know, like most kind of universities are and that sort of thing. It's been. Probably now, almost two years. I know that it was confirmed at one point it had been a year and that they'd all gone a year older. But I think it's probably close to two years now. So you'd imagine Yang, Weiss, and Blake are probably close to 19 now. Right? Ruby, therefore, when she went in at 15, is probably closer to 17 now. But anyway, regardless, they've been through so much. Right? They've done so much and been through so much that it just seems logical that, that somebody would recognize them because it's like... They can't go back to school. They can't go back to sitting in classes. It just doesn't make any sense, considering what they know, especially since what they know. So I'm sure Ironwood isn't doing it just because of what they've been through, just because they've proven themselves in the field, and just because of all this stuff. It's most likely because they all know, they know the secret, right? And he's like, okay, well, everybody who knows the secret, I want to you know, get out of a situation where they could potentially tell other students or anything like that and make them all official. So that's kind of cool. 
There was a lot of kind of crazy, wacky anime stuff in this episode, right? A lot of like Nora, especially. A lot of Nora, a lot of a lot of Penny, a little bit of Ruby. Being goofy. I'm glad her knives are back. Her swords. This is what Pyrrha used to kill her. Well, because Pyrrha was being misled, but you know what I mean. And then, of course, what also what um. Oh crap! What's her What's her name? Um. On Coco's team. No, Katie. No, Coco's team. Katie's uh, no what team character. Bunny girl? What's her name? The character's name. Bunny girl. I can't remember her name. The one who had the box. I know who, who you're talking yeah. about. I don't know the fucking name. What's her <laughs> name? Oh my god. How have I forgotten her name? I'm going to kill myself. Don't bother don't putting it in the comments because after I finish recording this, I'm going to go refresh my mind. I'll probably remember before I'm even done. But anyway. She, uh, remember, she, that was one of the cool things. Everybody saw that when she was going through the, everybody's weapons when she was in the, in the Battle of Beacon where she was fighting and creating the weapons and doing the fighting styles. And all of a sudden, the backpack appeared and the, the knives came out. That was, that was really cool. Anyway, it's just really cool that she saw the knives. I thought with her lasers and all that stuff that she might have just not had the knives this time. But she does, which is really cool. Now, that's her old arm, isn't it? Or no, wait a minute. That's the new one. That's the Amber Silica arm. It is, but she's doing the old trick, the same trick she did with, uh, with Nora. And Nora's laughing. I didn't even get the laugh part. Of course Nora's laughing because it happened to her. And then the selfie. Oh, best friends. Okay. Or more. Always more. Uh, uncle, father, uncle, 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 uh, father, niece daughter. or father, daughter. So I'm, I'm actually honestly thinking that a lot of this stuff is very, I, I almost sound like the people who, um, and I got no problem with Bumblebee. If, if Bumblebee is real, I'm cool with that. But there are some people who are Bumblebee fanatics who any tiniest little thing, they were like, oh my God, oh my God, Bumblebee. You know, they were like going nuts with it. I'm, I'm kind of like that with this whole Ruby Crow. Father, daughter thing. Daughter, father thing. And so I'm seeing some things in here and I'm like, oh, you know, that uh, in my brain are supporting my theory, but um, I guess we'll see. And yes, before you comment, I know that, that I think even, even Monty said no in, in Twitter, on Twitter. I know that. But come on, showrunners will not reveal big secrets. They'll, they'll outright lie to people if they've discovered a big secret or if they're trying to protect a big secret. I want to know more about Summer. I don't think she's dead. Do you think Summer's dead? This is, once again, that's mentioned that she went off on her own and never came back. Nobody's ever said they found her body. Nobody's ever said she died. They just presume she died. She's still alive somewhere. I know she is. And maybe that's when we get the reveal that Crow is her father. I am your father. I like what he said about this. Um, um, press on like you. Oh, yeah. Bit of a brat. Summer's a bit of a brat. But hey, I like brats. That's another thing that supports my crazy theory. It's like, oh, yeah. He liked her. Anyway, so we didn't get, I don't think we got too much story development here. We know that um, the team has decided they're going to pick up some missions to help out in Mantle while they're, you know, to get a little extra training so that they can get ready for the big battles that are, that are to come and the, 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 and the big fight that's going to happen and the, you know, helping everybody once. If Ironwood does reveal that Salem is real to everybody, of course, they're going to have to help fight off the panic and fight off the Grim, so they have to get ready for that. So we got, we know that's going to happen. Um, we got the little thing with Jock. I guess the story progressed a little bit with knowing that that um, that uh, Watts is now working directly with Jock to overthrow Ironwood, which we kind of predicted would happen anyway. That just made sense, right? Um, but not much with the team, other than the fact that they're now now official huntresses and huntsmen. In the case of two of them huntsmen, two and the rest of them huntresses. I find it interesting that they they differentiate huntsman and huntress. Why do they just call them all huntsmen? Anyway. I know, but it's a generic term. It can Hunts be a generic woman. term. It can be a generic term. Hunters. Why don't they just call them all hunters? Not achievement hunter. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, Michelle, what are you looking forward to next episode? Oh, uh, death! Can you, thank you for screaming into the mic. Sorry. Um, death? 
any. Like, and, uh, 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 what's the name? I'm hoping we um, see Weiss's mother next episode. What's her name? Please. Describe. Zwei. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see Zwei. He's back on an island way across the world. Unless, unless her father mails him to her. But he doesn't, I don't think, knows that they're there yet. Um, I think we're going to see Weiss's mother. I think next episode, there's going to be more stuff around the um, Schnee household. And I, I hope that, that Weiss gets to meet her mother since she said that her mother took it hard, that Weiss might go there to see her sort of thing. Um, and maybe the butler, maybe see him too next episode, maybe briefly. Um, I think we might see a little bit of Jean and the other... Well, we didn't, say, we didn't see who of the others actually got the gig to go underground and hunt the, hunt the uh, Grimm. So maybe we'll see that next time. Of course, it's going to be Blake and Yang. Of course. Wait, no. Because <laughs> she can see underground in darkness. Oh, my God. Um, but maybe we'll see a little bit of that next episode. Um, and, and I'm starting to wonder if this entire season is really going to be, this entire volume is really going to be just getting Mantle and, and Atlas, like all the prep work. And next volume is going to be some sort of big battles with Salem's forces. Are we going to see Cinder and Neo? Hope not. Maybe we'll see Cinder and Neo next episode. Fuck, bitch. We can hope. <laughs> anyway, let us know in the comments below uh, what we missed. I'm sure we did. Um, I, I still can't remember her name. Velvet. Velvet. I remember her name. Velvet. Aha. You don't need to comment about Velvet. Not there. Um, let us know what we missed. Let us know what you enjoyed and what you're looking forward to next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Catch you next time.